Hi, this is Terence Wu with Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I'm going to quickly run through the enhancements included in the HVAC module add-in for SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation. SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation is a general-purpose CFD tool which can effectively analyze a wide variety of situations. There are two add-in packages which extend the capabilities of flow simulation for electronics cooling and HVAC applications. The HVAC module includes four features. Before we get into the specific features, let's talk about the example I'm using in this video. The model on screen represents an office. There's a radiator along the right wall. Air flows in from the ceiling vent and out through the open door. And there are windows at the front and back of the room. The first feature included in the HVAC module is an expanded engineering database with more information for building materials and components. The second feature is an advanced radiation model. While the standard discrete transfer method is well suited to situations with high temperature gradients and does a good job modeling geometric optical effects such as shadows, it only allows for materials which are completely transparent or opaque. The discrete ordinance method included in the HVAC module can simulate absorptive materials and account for spectral dependencies, so semi-transparent materials can be modeled. One of the most common applications for this is glass. In this study, the windows are specified as glass, and we can see that the absorption coefficient is wavelength dependent. The HVAC module also allows for the calculation of human comfort factors. These comfort parameters help quantify the performance of ventilation systems by evaluating the comfort and air quality for people in the analyzed environment. A plot of the predicted mean vote shows the average thermal sensation rating of a group of people, where a vote of zero indicates a neutral temperature feeling. The predicted percentage dissatisfied index estimates the percentage of people likely to feel too warm or cool and the draft rate predicts the percentage of people bothered by draft. Other criteria that can be reviewed include mean radiant temperature, operative temperature, draft temperature, air diffusion performance index, contaminant removal effectiveness, local air quality index, and flow angle. The last addition included in the HVAC module is the ability to run tracer studies. Tracer studies are used to simulate the flow of an admixture in the existing fluid. In this example, a tracer study has been created to define the radiator as a carbon monoxide source. The results of the tracer study can be plotted similar to other values, and we can see that there's some accumulation of carbon monoxide at the top and sides of the room, although with the open door, it doesn't appear to be reaching dangerous concentrations. So to summarize, the HVAC module includes four enhancements, an expanded engineering database, the advanced discrete ordinance radiation model, calculation of comfort parameters, and tracer studies. I hope you found this overview helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.